welcome everyone today our today's topic is how twins are formed and this is from lesson life processes in living organisms part 2 for class 10th list let's, let's begin okay now how twins are formed so student what are twins so the two embryo okay two embryo develop simultaneously in the same uterus and thus two offspring are delivered simultaneously and uh, such offsprings are called as a twin. So, student twins are when two embryos are developed simultaneously at a time in the same uterus of a mother and thus two new individual or offspring or two uh, babies are delivered simultaneously uh, and you can uh, observe alongside diagram here the two, two embryos are developing in the same uterus and these are called as a twins. Okay, now there are different two types of a twins. First is monozygotic twins and second is dizygotic twins. Okay, so first let us understand what are the monozygotic twins. So student identical twins also called monozygotic twins. So identical twins means monozygotic twins. Okay, so uh, the I, monozygotic twins result from the fertilization of a single egg. Okay, that means uh, fertilization of a single egg by a single sperm with the fertilized egg then splitting into two that means these are the twins in which the egg is single egg is fertilized by a single or one sperm and then the this egg is splitting into two embryo okay and here you can observe the identical twins and nothing but the monozygotic twins so one egg is fertilized by the one sperm and uh, the and then it is dividing into two embryos and uh, they containing they possess same placenta but separate amniotic sac so amniotic sac in which baby uh, or embryo is present okay and identical identical twins share the same genomes and are always of the same sexes that means uh, they will bo both will be either boys or girls so their sexes may be uh, are should same okay now according to textbook monozygotic twins are formed from single embryo that means uh, they will form from a single embryo which is uh, dividing into two and during early uh, period of embryonic development that is within eight days of zygote formation cells of that uh, embryo divide into two groups here so these are identical twins or monozygotic twins and those two groups develop as those two groups develop as two separate embryos and thus monozygotic twins are formed and such twins such twins are genetically exactly similar to each other and their appearance is also similar and their genetic or genetic or genomes are exactly similar to each other okay and due to this uh, such twins are exactly similar in their appearance and their gender is also same that is both uh, will be either boys or girls and in case of a monozygotic twins if the embryonic cells are divided into two groups that is eight days after the zygote formation there is high possibility of formation of conjoint twins now conjoint twins or uh, it is also called as a siamese twins and such twins are born with the Say some body uh, some parts of body joined to each other and some organs are common in such twins so you can observe the picture in which uh, you can see uh, in the first picture the heart uh, they are um, joined by the heart and uh, liver you can observe there okay and in second picture they are also there these are the examples of a conjoint twins that means they are in such twins uh, there are some organ or some parts of the body are attached or joined and some organ um, are common in such types of a monozygotic twins and some organs are common in such twins okay now next type of uh, twins is dizygotic twins so student occasionally two oocyte are oocyte is immature egg so two oocytes are released from the ovary of woman and both oocytes are fertilized by two separate sperms and thus two zygotes are formed. So here uh, two embryos are formed from those two zygotes and both of those embryos are separately implanted uh, separately implanted in the uterus. Implanted, uh, implanted means um, these two embryos are attached to the walls of a uterus and thus dizygotic twins are delivered after complete 
development and such twins are genetically different and may be same, uh, same uh, may be same of differ different by gender that means they will be genetically they will be genetically different and they um, they may be different in their gender also that means one will be girl or other will be boy like this so you okay that means such twins are or dizygotic twins are genetically different and may be same of different by gender so student that's it for today's video thank you